the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Survival Let's Play. Happy to see you guys. Hopefully you all are having a good day. If not, fear no more. Uh, it, it, it's Let's Play time, ladies and gents. It's gonna be a good one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And like I always do, I want to say a huge thank you for stopping by uh, and watching the vid. I appreciate it. Today is a very big day. We, uh, we're, we're taking some leaps in the survival series, so I'm excited if you are too. Uh, I guess strap up, it's it's time. It's time. <laughs> but before we begin the episode itself, you know the drill, it's time to fish. Now, the last episode got over 3,000 likes, so... Uh, wait a second, you can't be in here. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna fish for three minutes and see what comes up in, in, uh, in that time span. So, let's start the timer and begin. Here we are. Oh! Okay, I, I want to check really quick. It's oh goodness. That's a nice one. All right. We'll keep going. We'll check it out later. Oh A name tag. Oh another awesome one. We still got a little bit more time left. Let's keep it. Oh my goodness Things are just racking in here. We we're, we're catching a lot of stuff. Uh, oh my oh my oh another name tag It's two. That's two name tags. That's huge. Holy cow, and it's still coming. And a book! Oh, goodness. Oh, oh here, here comes, here comes, here comes. Oh, another one! Okay, I think we're gonna have time. Okay, that is for sure the last cast. Time is now up, and the, it's just a regular fish. But we got some cool stuff on that, though. Some really cool stuff. So let's take a peek uh, and check what we got. So, uh, six raw fish, two raw salmon, a, a, a book with thorns and riptide one. That is awesome! Uh, two more books. This one has Efficiency 3, and this one has Protection 4, Fire Aspect 2, and Channeling 1. That's that's a pretty impressive book as well. Two lily pads and two name tags. So that, uh, that's a pretty good day of fishing. I'm liking the new system, and, and if you don't know what, what it is, basically, uh, for every thousand likes the previous episode gets, that's how many minutes I spend fishing at the beginning of the episode episode to hopefully find some cool stuff because if I if I fish for for forever like 30 minutes I'm just gonna get an insane amount of things and it's not even gonna be fair but if I limit it I think it'll make it a little fun and now that that's out of the way folks it's time to check out the to-do list for today's episode which has some cool stuff I want to make an XP farm which is gonna be huge for the series I want to craft a brand new set of diamond armor that'll be my specific nether armor I also want to enchant, uh, it could be that new set of armor, but it also could be tools, books, just really whatever I get good enchantments for. And I also want to do some tidying up around the place and make it look a little bit nicer. And that may, that may not sound like a lot of stuff, but the XP farm is going to take a little while, so I wanted to give myself some time. But before I begin, um, as, as you can tell, uh, I've got some TNT in the walls. <laughs> Just a few rows of it, uh, so I think, uh, let's just go ahead and, and begin here. This should be, oh boy, I'm kind of scared actually. This is a lot of TNT. It's a lot of TNT. It's a lot of TNT. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> Did you guys, you guys caught that, right? What was that all about? So redstone shooting out of the ceiling. Okay, so yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty impressive explosion. I gotta grab some of these uh, torches. I'm, I'm gonna um, light the place up a bit just so nothing else spawns. But pretty, uh, pretty successful explosion there. And we get some lapis out of it too. That's not too bad, not too bad at all. Now there's probably a lot more up here. Can I possibly? Ooh, let me see. Maybe if I ride up this? Oh wow, oh my goodness, I can swim really fast now. That's, uh, mm. That's not what I wanted to do. Now if you don't know what this project is, let me explain, let me explain, because I think I only mentioned it once or twice a few episodes ago. The reason I'm making a huge crater in the wall here is because I want to have a huge open underground area. So, instead of digging it all up by hand, 
I'm, I'm just blowing it up. <laughs> way more fun and, and way cooler to watch. So, so yeah, that, that's what I've been doing. A and our salmon are still here. They dis they disappear sometimes. I don't know where they go, but they're they're back. The the salmon are back in action. We got those last episode. Um, yeah, I think it's just about time to to uh. Well, actually, you know what? Before we work on the XP farm, why don't we create ourselves that new armor we were talking about? So it looks like we've got 39 diamonds as of right now to do it with, so let me go ahead and craft ourselves a new set. This is our second set of diamond armor. Now, like I said, this armor is going to be specifically for for the nether. I want to have different sets of armor. I, I saw a few comments that, that were saying this, but basically, I, I think it would be really, really cool over here to have to have a set, a, a different set of armor f for different things. So maybe like four armor stands, and then I have one for when I go to the end, maybe a set for when I'm in the overworld, a set for when I'm in the nether, things like that, like underwater set, you, you know, ones that I'll have different enchantments for different things. I think it's a nice idea. And before I get carried away, I also want to make uh, some some different tools here. So I think it would probably make sense to go ahead and at least have a diamond sword so I can possibly enchant it. And then also uh, a, a diamond pickaxe because I still don't have fortune on a diamond pick. So that leaves us with 10 diamonds. That's a very small number now. So we got to we got to head back to the mine sooner or later. Oh, and then I also want books. I also want books. Let's check out what kind of enchantments we can get. So this is going to be our nether uh, armor. So if I can get any fire protection, I think I'll jump on that. Oh, wait a second. Feather falling four is really nice. Okay. And that would actually be good for the nether too. So I can, I can possibly do that one. That might be the best enchantment. I'll go through. Yeah, don't want silk touch. Looting two is good, but I think the, uh, uh, the feather falling four is what I want to go for, so let's grab that. Oh, wait. Let's grab that. <laughs> and we get, okay, pro projectile protection four. That's that's not too bad. I would hope to hopefully eventually have fire protection for those, but that's not too bad. We can move on and check what our next enchantment's going to be. So protection three, okay. Projectile protection again. What about the chest plate? Another? Jeez, where's the fire? Where's the fire? So what have I fished up before? We've got, uh, okay, a book with thorns and riptide, efficiency three, and protection four, fire aspect two, channeling one. All right, that's not too, too bad. I think what I want to do really quick, though, is set up a chest here just to save all of my books, and then we'll find a better place to put them later, Um, you know, where I can organize them. But for now, that'll be cool to have. And then over here, I got the anvil. Let's see, what enchantment do I... I want to use. You know what? I think I'm. I think I'm gonna do the sword. It has on breaking three, which is really good for a diamond sword. So uh, hopefully we'll grab something else on it. What else do we have? Oh, whoa. okay. That's 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 a great deal. Okay, so I, I also get sharpness three and looting two. I'll take that, and we can finally get rid of our iron sword. Episode 12, and we finally got a diamond sword. Not too shabby at all. We're gonna get our first set of nether armor pe a piece? Piece of the set of, yes, the first piece of our nether armor set. <laughs> so I'll store the nether armor in the chest, and yeah, I'm thinking this this really isn't nether armor, so why don't I why don't I just go ahead and wear the better boots? <laughs> why not the ones that have feather falling too? We can we can save this extra armor in here. I'll just put my extra diamond armor in this area over there. Uh, but the nether armor is is up here, and and then could I add protection onto that? I could. I could, oh, or I could add fire aspect onto my sword. Why wouldn't I do that? Oh boy, our diamond sword is looking pretty fine now. So up here we just have a ton of stuff that I'm gonna enchant in the future if I can, and then some stuff I'm saving up there. That is what I'm talking about. So there we go. The enchanting is now done, and we, we, we've started on the nether armor set. That's not a bad gig. Now. Now it's time to do this uh, to do this XP farm. Want to come with Rusty? Yeah, let's go. Come on, you can come up here and help me out a little bit. So the reason I'm making this farm is 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 fairly simple. It's oh my! I did not notice that. <laughs> 
I, I made this tunnel here to at least uh, have an easy connection up to uh, this path, but also uh, the spawner, which is right there. But I, and I guess I, I guess I didn't see that. So let me go ahead and grab. <laughs> is that just one? Oh where? Oh there it is. It's uh oh my goodness. I'm telling you guys, Fortune Three is the way to go. So um yeah, this this is gonna connect up uh, uh up to here. Where I don't even know where I was. Oh yeah, the reason the reason I I wanted to do this. It's plain and simple. For the past few episodes, I've been spending a whole bunch of time off camera getting levels to make the the gameplay more entertaining. We can have some cool enchantments and and enchanting on camera is always fun because it's like. It's like gambling, basically, uh, and that's always fun to watch. But I'm getting sick and tired of it taking so long, so I want to speed up the process by making a proper, uh, a proper uh, spawner thing. And and we got it set up here. Now I forget what episode it was, but we found this a while back when we were expanding on our builds in the ravine, and I did not break it because it is in a perfect location uh, to make a to make a a farm out of it. So to begin, I've gathered some supplies. I went ahead and put them in this chest here. We have uh, all the glass that I own. I have more sand, but uh, this is this is it for the glass. It's looking kind of uh, kind of pathetic. I apologize. A whole bunch of water buckets and some stone bricks. Now this is th the idea behind behind. I I'm just kind of winging it to be honest with you, but we'll see if we'll see if it works. So I guess start building a little platform for yourself, and I think e we want it two underneath the spawner. So here we go. We got our platform. As you can tell, there are two blocks in between. You might want to do three, but I, I don't think it matters too much. So uh, that's that. As far as distances. I think this is, uh, yeah, five blocks away, uh, or five blocks in between, uh, from all the walls, yeah, so I, I, I think you could probably do a little more, but I, I don't really have much room, it's right next to the, uh, to the ravine, so I'm doing five, I think you could probably go up to seven, um, but either way, uh, that's what I'm doing, and now, uh, well, basically, th this is the deal, this is the deal. I want to have streams of water that carry the mobs all the way off. Oh, that's perfect. That's the, that's the perfect distance. I, <laughs> I didn't even realize. So I want I want the mobs uh, that spawn up there to be pushed down into a little tray, a little a little serving tray. So uh, that's where that's gonna be. A a so they fall down all the way, and then they get pushed off the edge like a so. Uh, perfect. So if I were to add, oh, let me go ahead and um block this off. So if I were to add other uh, other buckets of water, basically just get it going all the way across. The water looks really weird on this beta, um, but there you go. And then it should flow all the way to the end like that, smooth and simple. Make sure the- oh, wow, that's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, your water should not look like this. It'll look a little bit different. It won't have the squares on it, but make sure it's all flowing down like that. And uh, that, that's really all you need. I'll go ahead and get rid of all these buckets. A and we can continue on with the build here. Once again, I'm winging it, so this might not even work. It, but if it doesn't, don't worry that you won't you won't see this part. I'll just <laughs> I'll just redo it. So now that all the mobs are going to be funneled down this way, I want to also funnel them into the middle. Um, or I could just do one side, but I I think the middle just makes sense. It's uh, the most pleasing way to do it. So why don't we go ahead and make ourselves a little trench here? And, and here we run into our first problem. I knew this was going to happen, but um, the center of this does not line up with the center of the water. I think the wa how how far does the water go? It, it's right Right here and it spreads one two three four five six seven and and we don't need it to go that far but it, I so it'll be a little off center I, I just gotta I just gotta do this so one two all right in we go so if I put the water here it will go one two three four five six seven and then uh, the, the mobs will get stuck right there which is exactly what I want so let me go ahead and do that I can fill this in, not really necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyways, and oh, that's ugly now. So we got a new center now, let's go ahead and carve out a little area around it. Um, and then we can, I guess, start planning. Now, everything should work pretty much perfectly. Uh, they'll just all get funneled here, and, and then you can kill them. So, it's just about time to design this thing a, a little bit, you know, get it looking nice. 
So I think the glass is a necessity. Uh, I, I want to get this across this whole area just so you can see the mobs funneling in. Um, I think I'll probably stop the glass. Uh, Oh, I'll just put it there for okay. Oh wait, I also have soak touch. I can grab these no issues uh, So yeah, I'll stop the glass too high uh, just because I don't want er, three two three Let's do three the reason you got to be careful with that is the light can't get all the way through or else the spawner won't work So that's that's the one issue there um, And now I guess I can just clean up the rest of the construction like a show uh, I guess put that right there. Okay. This is uh, this is looking good. It, well, no, it, it's really ugly, but with the spawner itself, it, it, I think we're basically done. So I think I think we're ready to try it out to give one more overview the mobs get out of the spawner fall into the water up there Get pushed all the way to the glass then fall down and then wherever they are on this row They get pushed over to this area and then they fall down and then this is where I can attack them uh, Right here, so that is the plan I do want to automate this though and add like a little piston crusher it should be cool, but but that's the start. So I think we just gotta test it out first and and see if it works. So I'm gonna go clear all, all the torches. This this could be painful. Okay, all right. If you were wondering whether or not that would work, why don't you take a look at who who we have here? What's up, guys? Yeah, it, it works. It works. It works. It works really well. In fact, I've got a whole bunch in here. And, uh, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna kill them. I didn't think about this. Okay, there goes my sword. <laughs> and we still have a whole bunch left. Um, and as you can tell, we, we get, you get a good amount of loot by doing that. And we can probably just go ahead and... Oh, you can't do that. I was gonna combine all of them. And look at these bones! We're doing pretty pretty solid with this. Oh, they just keep coming. So it's working pretty solid. And if you can't tell, I also cleaned up the place a little bit. I, I just made everything smooth stone. This is not going to, except, except for I missed a spot. It's not gonna be the final look. I just wanted to at least clean it up a little bit for the video's sake. So, so that's that. Now, I might have to switch over to Peaceful really quick to get rid of these guys so I don't lag up my world uh, there's a few more adjustments I need to make so what's the one thing missing you might ask uh, oh aside from uh, from the no from the no crusher well let me tell you it's 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 up in here uh, in my new janitors area huh it's a uh, it's a little behind the scenes action this is where I'm gonna have all sorts of lighting so that I can power this thing on and off there's no- oh jeez, they're all fighting each other now. <laughs> There's no real way for uh, for me to turn this off unless I come in here and light it all up with torches again. So, uh, the easiest way to do that is to have a little redstone lighting system, and that's what I'm thinking of doing. Let's grab some redstone, shall we? Put away some of this extra stuff, grab the cobble I need. Um... Redstone, uh, repeaters, and, and then that I don't really need right now. Uh, it, it, this is very simple. All we need to do is grab a, a repeater and put it in front of uh, in, in front of each and every one of these little lights. So uh, so this is all we gotta do. We just gotta do this all the way around that way. Well, actually, I don't know if I need uh, the repeater. I don't think I do now that I'm thinking about it. But it is what it is. This is just how it's just how I always do it. Yo, yo, what, what's going? Uh, everyone's fighting each other now. My goodness. So, uh, yeah, there we go. All the redstone is set up. I got a repeater just in case the signal runs out. Uh, and then this goes over. Why are you guys so loud? This is unbearable. What? What is going on? We, what? What are you guys doing, huh? Can you stop fighting? Well, actually. No, keep on going, keep on going. Okay, I'm in peaceful, just so we don't have to deal with that the whole time I'm working. My goodness. Uh, I, I apologize, that was really loud. Um, okay, where, where were we? We were, we were doing, oh, we were doing the lighting, we were doing the lighting. So I want to have this switch. I think right here uh, would be cool. So, oh, I don't have the switch on me. Is it still in the chest? Hello? Uh, yes, there it is. Let me go ahead and grab one of these. So, the light switch can go right here. So, I can just build my way up. Let me grab the rest of it. There we go, there we go, and just like that, it's connected. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's perfect. 
So to run a test, why don't we go ahead and see if this will bring power to the whole to the whole station, shall we? And it okay, it doesn't. Oh, oh, that's why. That's why. Let me just string. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. I gotta go around this way. There we go. And oh, so close. One more repeater ought to be able to fix that. And there we go. And that should wrap around all the way. Yes, so we have power to all of the light sources, uh, which aren't actually there just yet. I gotta go grab those. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and work on getting this crusher set up because uh, it's a pretty important part of the operation, so I want to make sure it works well. Uh, I'll go grab the supplies I need and I'll, uh, I'll, think of a, I'll think of a strategy. So if this is where the skeleton feet are, the heads will be right on this block. So I want to push this thing out to suffocate them. And in order to do that, I'm going to need a sticky piston. So yes, if that extends, yeah, okay, that should suffocate them. That's step one. So we've got the button, we've got the piston, now it's time to connect the two. I, 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 okay, so the the, uh, the button is right on the other side of this, uh, this block right here, so if I add our redstone, it should be, uh, be as easy as, as easy as this, if I just, um, well, actually, I could probably bring this down, like a so, like that, and there we go. Now, this won't actually work so it's gonna do that and then it's gonna go back really fast I need to figure out a way to keep it out there for a certain amount of time well actually I think I could just I think I could just bring this out yeah I could just do something like this I guess I mean this isn't exactly the most efficient way to do it I'm sure but if I have enough delay on those is that gonna change the effect you can tell I'm not a redstone X no Okay, that just made it, hmm. So not that, that's not what I need to do. There might be a way to time this better, I'll definitely look into that, but, uh, that, well that's it, that, that's really it, and um, it's that simple, ladies and gents. Now, is there a way I could not have that be there? Yeah, there, there definitely is. I just gotta move the button somewhere else. I'll, I can I can figure that out later. So we can test it on our first specimen. Hello there, are you gonna suffocate? Yeah, you will for a second. Oh, oh no, it's it sucked you. Oh goodness, it sucked him back in there. Hey, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Don't get sucked up in there. No, you, you stop it. What if I put a block there, a full block? There's no way they can be pulled through that, right? So, suffocate them. It. Okay, okay. It tries to pull back. It. That still works though, so until I can get the timer right, I think I might just go ahead and abandon this, uh, figure out how to make that work properly, uh, but in the meantime, I can just hold a lever so that it'll do that, and then I count out however many I need to, and, and that should be good, and then I can just smack them for the rest. Yeah, perfect. So I, I just gotta learn how long it takes to suffocate a skeleton, and then make sure I don't let them die, and, and I'll be fine. So the next step would definitely be, uh, well, I think, going to get those lights. Now, I have yet to go to the nether, and I need I need to now, if I want if I want this to, oh boy, we got a creeper. Hey, hey, yeah, uh, there we go. He's down, just like that. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've yet to, uh, I've yet to go to the nether, so I'm gonna, uh, well, I'm gonna go. I don't have a special spot for my portal yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and build one out in the open here, and then get rid of it uh, right afterwards, because I don't want any baddies coming on over from the underworld. I just want to go grab a few, uh, a, a few uh, glowstones, that's the word. Does that, does that not work? Does, yeah, uh, huh? Oh, come on. <laughs> so I'm going in, I'm doing it, and this is, oh boy, this is the first, this is the first nether visit of the, of the series, and I'm, and I'm gonna make it really quick. I'm gonna explore the nether for the first time properly, once I make, okay, let me just make sure I'm all good here. No one's, uh, no one wants me? Yeah, we're fine, we're fine, okay. So like I said, I'll properly explore this place later in my first actual nether episode, but I do need some of this glowstone, so, oh boy, this is, oh, why do you have to be in lava? If I just cap it, oh, oh, that's easy. Okay, and is it all actually gonna go away? No way, 
<laughs> oh, that, okay, that's that's nice. All right, let's go ahead and grab all this glowstone. Uh, I'll try to get a little bit more if I can find any nearby, but like I said, th this is not my nether exploration episode. I, that is going to be something special. Yeah, this, is, uh, this isn't this is too bad. Nothing's coming at me. I'm just, you know, having a fine time. Fine dandy. Nothing's going wrong. No one's shooting me. It's lovely. It's a lovely place. And back in we go, just like that. <laughs> so I've got enough glowstone. I can now transfer that over. Uh, and and let's, uh, let's just go ahead and make sure okay wait how can i oh let's just do this then yeah there we go i don't want anyone coming back through here not today not today so here we go let let, let, let the games begin shall we will spread this redstone between uh, uh i think it's those four yes there we are redstone lamps just like that 12 oh 12 is not going to be enough hold on i did not split that up nearly well enough that's gonna do it. That's enough. That's enough for sure. And a little to spare as well. Not too shabby at all. Uh, all this stuff can go away. And now we can check out our, uh, our, 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 our new, our new, oh yeah. It's nice and bright up in there. Now, is that gonna stop everyone? I'm just gonna, yeah. Is that, is that a good, is that a good, is that close? No, maybe one more. Two more, three more. Whoa, oh, there they are. Now they're falling. Not bad. Yeah, okay, and it looks as if no one else is coming down here, which must mean that, oh, that's nice and bright. Uh, it definitely works. It, it, it's, it's super ugly, though. Uh, I'll tell you that much. Very ugly. But hey, it gets the job done, and we got some uh, some cool enchanted armor as well. So with that being said, that is now complete, ladies and gents. And I do have one more thing on the to-do list, and, and that's to tidy up. So I'm I'm I, I, I hmm. This recording is already an hour and 40 minutes, so I might not be able to do that, but I'll go ahead and tidy it up in between episodes. Like this area, it'll actually look cool, hopefully. Um, not crazy cool, but less ugly than this. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Rusty, come on, you can come down here. Oh, you're not... You're Rusty... There we are. All right, let's go. <laughs> so with that being said, that's all for today, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.